show up here pretty much with a laptop under their arm. And I noticed yeah. when yeah, well, within after hours or weekends, the rate almost doubled. So I think yeah. we're getting a very fair deal. Oh, that's a bunch of one. committed people. That was a little the, uh, you know, mm. I, I don't think mm. it's excessive, I guess is what I'm getting. No. It, but but I think we should reward. Oh, that wasn't the. Um, the intent of the, the questions nope. and such was more just kind of where we were and make sure yep. everything is, you know, as we, yep. you know, it's a litigious society now and, you know, people will, you know, we had one accident not too long ago last year. Yep. I mean, it could get ugly if we had an, another one, you know, so we need to have the town protected and the yep. U.S. road agent, you know, that means they have to sign well, the contract. Well, yeah, they have insurance. insurance, but I mean, it's, you yeah, know, they're responsible for their own actions. Yeah, but they're under our direction and, yeah, they, we're paying the bills, you know, paying their salary while they're working for us, so, yeah, we do it. There's a lot of people in, in the final state that think we have deep pockets, whether we're a town or a state or the federal government, yeah. and they will sue you regardless. Yeah, well, that's, name that can go either way with a contract right. or not, the same thing with a contract or not, it's still going to happen. But, you know, they'll tend to throw whatever again they can against the wall. There's no, the there's no language of indemnification, then yeah. we, you know, have to take it on the chin. If we have the language in it to protect us, then we have avenues to protect us. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm trying to. No. Nope. Oh, I know. I said, believe a lot of past mm -hmm. records. We have a pretty good record. Yep. Overall. Um, there are a lot of people out there that don't really use good judgment on the pedestrian side of all this, or mm -hmm. public side. Oh, very true. I mean, I, we see it in the state all the time. Uh, yeah, yes. Accidents and stuff. Yeah. But as I've always said, it takes, you know, for a thousand attaboys, it take, well, it takes is one crap to yeah. throw it all out. Yeah. You know. yeah. So. Yeah, that's fine. But I mean, as far as yeah. the rate part of it, I, I feel we're right, right there. Yeah. I don't think the intent, you know, I say, you yeah. know, my, it would, I can only speak for myself, I don't know if you but, you know, when the question came up, my intent was not to go monkeying with a rate per se, yeah. it's just more to make sure all the legalities are, you know, get our ducks on a row so that way something happens to protect, you know, because our job is to protect the town as a whole, regardless, you know, whether, you know. So. Well, if you can screw that, you don't want to hang the person out to dry. <laughs> no, you don't want to hang anybody out to dry. Sounds like I said you can go. What you Mm -hmm. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. That's All why right. it's always nice to have the department head here to speak yeah, on right. it, right, Bob? Mm -hmm. Actually, and that's what I wanted. I wanted you have the history. Yep. So at least mm -hmm. you, if you had something to add, it makes it easier mm -hmm. to make a determination. I, I mean, just a quick history le lesson, and I'm Brian probably knows it as well as anybody. I mean, the town has relied on subcontractors basically forever. Um, Ever in a day. Yeah. Years and years ago, they went to a state where they owned a truck and all that. And back in 2000, they found that you know, they really had gravitated to get one core vehicle that the town owns, and that's when they bought that truck we have now. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, I had a guy to plow with. And I, I think overall, it's worked out well. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a lot of you know little things during the day or whatever. You have somebody here, and, and the person takes a roof and covers it and does all that, just like all the rest of the guys. We all go out together when we go out, you know, in a snowstorm and all that. And uh, I think probably someday the town's going to have to seriously look at more than one truck and more than one guy. I mean, it's just there aren't many people mm -hmm. come around. Nate here, he's interested in it, mm -hmm. and uh, says he's going to do something with us. So he's the youngest guy we got. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Try to say old. No, 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 it's just if you were trying to say you're old. There's not a lot of people that are really <laughs> interested <laughs> in that. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Not only that, you make Nate feel old. He's the younger guy. Just a split second. You alright, bud? Yeah, okay. If you hug for the thing later, you're going to be alright. No, but that's just... You'll be okay. Okay. But that's just the... 
The other thing too is when you break everything out, yeah. to be real honest, with the few contractors that we use, yeah. it makes more sense to do yeah. what we're doing now than to make big investments exactly. into something. It'd be different if you were taking small steps yeah. into that, but, but you know, yeah. right now you're not at yeah. that even at that position. I do um, think eventually yeah. society is going to push the town that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, we, you know, it's just most of the people moving to this town come from an area where they have a lot of services. You know, it's just like with the fire department or anything else, or the police department. Mm -hmm. okay. They expect an immediate service. I mean, trust me, the guys all do a good job. We give them good service, but it's just they want a town truck and a town individual out there and all that. It's just yeah. It well. It's Part of the whole society now. I mean, you get these yep. phones, computers. They will be able to hit a button. They would have instant, instant. communication, instant yeah. information, instant everything. You know? yeah. So I mean, at some point, I, I really do think the town is going to have to yeah. gravitate that way, more 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 whether we like it or not. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Don't disagree. Uh, fortunately, I don't know when that's going to happen. <laughs> no. And that's not the end of the world either. No. I mean, no. Yeah. Just higher taxes. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I, you know, I'm amazed, really. I mean, I, I've talked to a lot of different towns and see what they're doing. Some of them have a full complement of highway department workers, mm -hmm. and they really, they're not, they don't have any more taxpayers than we do. Mm -hmm. And they seem to get it done somehow. Yeah. How, I don't know, but they, they're able to get it done. Mm -hmm. um, Warner is one that always they have enough businesses, so most of the tax base is on it. Chichester is the same way. Yes. That's the fallback in our end. Yeah. It's our residential. It's our water rule. A lot of uh, uh, a lot of times, the town of Chichester has mm -hmm. reached out to us for different things. Mm -hmm. Well, they've been doing things because to see what we do because they're a similar town. Mm -hmm. Wayne does. We call about mm -hmm. these rates and stuff. Yep. So, and a couple of years ago, one of the guys over there mm -hmm. from about the highway department. And all that. Mm -hmm. It's amazing I mean, what they can do, but it's that tax base. I think they got 28 in Route 4 right there. Exactly. Mm -hmm. They take advantage yeah. of it. Mm -hmm. yep. Yep. 13 does not give us that opportunity. No, nope. it's just it's, you know, it's the way it is. Yeah. And now it's I don't see that changing so. either. No. Uh, all right. I don't either. So, you know, I'm taking enough of your time. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, Tom's almost asleep. I am. Very good. <laughs> I think it's been a good conversation. I appreciate okay. that, Joe. All right. We'll Thank you. Maybe we can finish this up next week. And figure out. I'll, I'll ask the state on some of those questions that you're asking. I'll see what, what their answer is. For? Uh, the IRS thing. Oh, and, and I've got a call into right. the auditor, too, who's calling me back tomorrow. Right. Because he was out on the field today. Um, and we talked about other things yesterday. Mm -hmm. But, um, Okay. I, I work in the same office with people that actually put the stuff all together okay. on a regular basis, so they should be able to give me the answer. Yep. I just forgot about doing that. And the way Anna explained it to me is mm -hmm. that if we have separate rates and the IRS, you, you, you can't tax or you can't 1099 a certain piece of it, then there we have to set up the bill to say, okay, we're going to... I'm not sure why we would give them a 1099 in the first place because... If they're working for us as a contractor, we're just going to give them a, a, a check. It's up to them to do their accounting accordingly and if do you all that paperwork. Pay anybody over the six seven some all six, six hundred dollars. You have to, you have to supply them with Yeah. We're not going to get ten ninety nine for the guy that does the contract, does the roof. Yeah, he yeah. filled out a form. Yeah. Yeah. Really. Well, everybody has to have that W nine form. Yeah, I mean, put a W nine form. And then, if them. you're mm -hmm. a sole proprietor, I mean, this. Two or three arguments with that corporation thing now. Yeah. A lot of accounting people will tell you we still should get a 1099. Mm -hmm. um, That's why the know. auditor it wants to be all the checks to go through the accounts payable mm -hmm. so you can track sure. those things. Absolutely, should go through. When, you do, you know, when someone's yeah. mowing the lawn, mm -hmm. or mowing the grass, and for the mm -hmm. Conservation Commission, if they were being paid through the accounts payable, we'd have mm -hmm. them complete the 1099 or the W 9 so that mm -hmm. they can get 1099. Allison's really good about that. But anything over that is <coughs> by law, you're supposed to report that. Yep. That's it.
I, I guess the theory was years ago, if you were a corporation, mm -hmm. you had more, um, not accurate, but more extensive bookkeeping. Because mm -hmm. you actually were working for the corporation. Right. So the corporation was paying you. So if the corporation could pay this uh, better paperwork, trade mm -hmm. a little bit all now. Well, when you sold the prior, I mean, it's, it's all the same pocket. Right. No, no, I understand. You know, so that's why the 1099. Just ten ninety nine that wood. <laughs> Good. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, see if we can't get this figured out real quick, fast, in a hurry. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. Anything else, Jeff? For you? No. Okay. Do you want me to send you a reminder, or you can remember? Um. Either or. Okay. Probably a reminder would be best. <laughs> so it's been a busy week this week. All right. You're next on the list. You're yep. with budget calendar for 2017. Yes, I have been busy this week, let me tell you. In your packet, you have paper book, um, budget meeting calendar for 2016, budget meeting calendar for 2017. I've been working on my reverse timetable for uh, town meeting March 14, 2017. I've included in your packet uh, important dates for traditional town meeting if you needed to refer to that. And then um, eventually during these next few weeks, well, Brian, you might want to spearhead the capital improvements yes. uh, because you mentioned a couple weeks ago that because of lack of time to update it um, that we would be working with last year's accepted and approved. Well, I mean, knowing the, the capital improvements plan, I mean, I just didn't foresee any way coming with any anything, huge, new. anything new. Anything new. Yep. So it's going to be mostly a uh, yep. <coughs> excuse me, revision of uh, the current stuff and you know just updating it for right and the way to read that large sheet bob on page two the, uh, the bottom group of lines basically shows the um, warrant articles that we tend to be uh, reoccurring warrant articles from year to year and this is kind of a um, cost per year wish list more or less that the um, town uses just to try to keep the tax rate increase at a level increase. So I have a question. What's all the red different colors here? Green yeah, I was trying to figure out too. Yes, I mean, I just started talking about it. Oh, I'm sorry. I mean, I know that the Thursday night's like them. Yeah, right. Well, on, on 2016, if you want to go to my calendar, um, it, we have nine possible budget meetings between now and the end of the year. They're all highlighted in pink. So today is the 20th. We have four, we have next week, three m weeks in November, and five potential um, budget meetings in December. Then we move into 2017, and we have four potential budget meetings in January um, with the projected um, public hearing for our, our budget for um, February 9th as a possible first public hearing and then if um, we needed a snow date of any kind then we could do it on the 16th and all this is basically a template that I use so that I can make sure that I keep the board on track with um, meetings um, related to the budget so that when it comes time to uh, the month of February that we've got a, a budget that the board can agree upon and present to the taxpayers for a public hearing. So the um, red is your just general meetings. I think what I'm going to ask the board to do in the next week or two is possibly consider a strategy, I will probably present the um, CPI, if that's something that you want to um, 
discuss anytime soon. Sure. Then have um, the departments come in so that you can share what you would like to. I think last year we started later in November and then we were kind of scurrying around. Um, sometimes the winter months can be a little bit hectic to hold well, meetings. Well, we also had a lot of holidays that fell on a Thursday, I think, last year. Which yeah. We did, did. So we did. This and year we're a little bit on better. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But Put this, if, if you can keep this available, mm -hmm. um, it'll help us keep on, stay on track. Um, it's possible that if we um, don't feel like we're closing in, in January, we may have to hold a couple of workshop meetings. Yeah, um, well, we got all of December. I mean, I remember yeah. last year. I mean, we December, missed we two. Had, yeah, because yeah. of New Year's, New Year's and, and Christmas. Christmas both yep. whacked us hard. Yep. And then, um, and then all Christmas these Day was in November, then you had Thanksgiving, so we only had two in November. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, I mean, I think we're, we're definitely on okay. more solid footing here. Yep. So, but, uh, I mean, as you get to, you know, my opinion is that if, as you bring things up, you know, CPI, whatever, if you mm -hmm. have, have that information, the sooner you get it here, the right. sooner we can do it. Right, well, you'll you be seeing think? a lot yeah. of that in the next few weeks, so. Um, I work. Any thoughts on the Oh, Start getting, we'll just cross those things off our list as we go. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you'll be seeing more of this in the next few weeks. Very exciting. Oh, yes. Who made my night? <laughs> feels like we just got done doing this. Yeah, it, it does. It feels like it's never ending. It does. All right. Let's so do a two-year budget like you know. This might be something you want to bring with you on a regular basis. Yep. Gotcha. Um, I can also set up mail baskets for you if you want to just leave your budget. Actually, that's a bad idea. Yeah. I think past boards have done that. They had one with each a name on it. It allowed you to keep all your paperwork together in, yeah. the, um, in my office, and then you can just grab it and not forget anything that you need. That's not a bad idea. So next week you'll probably be... I'll set those up, and okay. next week we'll work on getting the CPI ready, and perhaps you'll be ready to maybe have a strategy discussion so that we can get the mm -hmm. department in and talk yes. about that. Um, but I do want to pull warn you, I have one week's vacation that I'm planning on taking. You know, again? Can you just get back? Can you take it on weekends? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I like the way you think it. I like the way you think it. That has some humor, right? <laughs> she obviously doesn't have one at all. When you uh, take it off? I, well, I'm... Now that the tax rate's set, it's going to be very soon here. But I'll try to make it as painless as possible and work it around something that's not going to interfere with this schedule. Well, as I look at November, you can have the 24th, 5th, 6th, 7th. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so can you. I will. <laughs> I think I have those days. I, I might take advantage of the few days before since there won't mm -hmm. be a meeting that night and then mm -hmm. a couple days after and that will well, soften the blow. I think I've seen you many of the Friday after Thanksgiving before. You have? Yeah, I think they were. Yes. Don't tell anybody. Okay. Okay. No, uh, tell you when you, you know, obviously. Oh, yeah. No, I have no plans. I have no plans, but um, as you can see in the yeah. mail basket, that, that memo did go out. Yep. The department. So we'll get Jeff, Jeff, you may have the day after Thanksgiving off unless it snows. That's true. Yeah. That's how it works with us. Payback, huh? It's better done that. Uh, okay. Quite often we get a little mm -hmm. incident at Thanksgiving time. Yep. Just enough to make the rules slip. Yeah, make them greasy. Mm -hmm. Very calm. All right, we're good with that? Yep. Okay. Um, we have an on post with Jeff. With, um, I don't know that we need it, uh, technically. I think I put it on there because I wasn't sure to what extent um, we would get involved with the, the resignation for Pete, but I think we, yeah. you, don't, you don't have any questions or anything you need to talk about? Okay. I mean, yeah, that was good. We're, yeah, that was yeah. good. Okay. We'll scratch that then. We better. will scratch that. Yeah. I, I left just, it on there because yeah. I wasn't sure if we needed to do that. Because so. it was an employee related. I'm not yeah. sure. We yeah. didn't think we were going to talk about it. Uh, the only thing I can see is if we got into like um, a, a, an exit interview and there was some yeah you know, some drama some yeah exactly some yeah. drama that we have to discuss or something. Okay. Like that. Well, I didn't feel there was any. Right. Right. Yep. That works for me. That's pretty sound reason. Why would he 
Why do you switch jobs? Yeah, exactly. You got it. But I just thought I'd share that. I no, I no, appreciate that, absolutely. I was kind of concerned about the pay thing. Not a whack, but why not? That's good to know. Yeah. I just hope we get some uh, decent candidates to come in and uh, apply for the job. Yeah. In the UFW, do you have them like, take the truck out for a test drive so you see how they operate? And well, we have them only done it once. When uh, Alan got done, we hired Pete. Um, mm -hmm. The guys filled out an application. We got quite a few <coughs> applicants. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of them <coughs> weren't even beginning to be qualified. Mm -hmm. It says CDLB license, and you don't have one. Yep. It's kind of silly to apply. Yeah, why do we even apply? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, but Bottom we had some point. of that. I yep. mean, it's, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm feeling things out there and then uh, I think we knocked we whittled it down to the three best candidates mm -hmm. and then Ted was on a slip and then Ted, John Wigan and myself interviewed him. Mm -hmm. And that's how we did it. I mean again with Pete he was coming from the same type of work, mm -hmm. the same type of thing. So I mean he obviously could drive a truck and there was mm -hmm. no sense in putting it through that. You know, and then where he went for the next job is the same thing. It's the same type of work. Right. It's just a little better location. So I, I think I would be happy if we did a three person interview again. Yeah. I think so it's that good would to do pretty that. good. Three yeah. different opinions mm -hmm. and uh, as an interview. Mm -hmm. And you know, I think we'd kinda see where it came from. If, right. if I would really wouldn't want to hire somebody that had no experience mm -hmm. in plowing roads or doing anything like that, especially given the time of year it is and everything. And right. Because that's what the job's going to be. Mm -hmm. You're going to have to get up to speed pretty quick. Absolutely. And uh, so I, I don't, a hands-on thing, I don't mm -hmm. think at this point we need that. Yeah. You know, I don't know. I mean, I've seen people say, yeah, I can drive a truck to get in there and they yeah. would make an ass of themselves. Well, yeah. No, I mean, that is possible. I think it would depend on where they come from, you know. Yeah. 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 I wasn't sure if you did that or not. No, like I said, I've only been involved with hiring one person, and that was when, because Alan had been here, I don't know, nine or ten years. Right. He left for a salesman job, mm -hmm. so he changed careers. And then he came along, so. Um, oh. Yeah, maybe that is a good thing to do. I, I don't know. But we did last time. Whatever works for you. <laughs> yeah, that worked last time. Who's to say this time? Like, Okay, we got a um, trash removal quote here. Yep, I've been working on that with uh, staff in the office. We're not having very good luck. Um, uh, did you find out what other school systems do? So Bo and other surrounding towns? She did. Um, I didn't see that in the scene. I know, I'm trying to think here. Um, I know that was the first part of this, and I can't remember why we didn't, I didn't bring it up. We work with that um, state contract. Yeah. All of these are pretty much on the state contract. Um, they weren't real quick to respond. No. I'm sure they weren't. No. Um, the only one that showed um, was it, that gave her any kind of time was the zero waste, mm -hmm. and they said that they wouldn't be able to pick up anything but every uh, every two weeks. So. We didn't think that that would be wise. No. So we're waiting to hear from Allied Services and Canard Waste. Oh, Allied Services is a, was a no answer, so we're thinking that it's closed. The phone number would ring and then mm -hmm. it would just stop. But no answer. No mm -hmm. answer, yeah. Uh -huh. They had a, an address in Hooksit and their parent company was um, Tingsboro, Mass. So I'm not sure. Yes, sir. Yeah, what? That allied services, they went out of business about did two years ago. Oh, did they? Okay, they're still in the, in the yeah, they, uh, local pages and stuff. We used to haul to them. 
and that facility closed. They, they're if that facility closed. They're not technically out of business, but that oh, part okay. of it okay. is Okay, okay, that's what would explain why. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. All righty, folks. Hit the mailbox here. Um, email from George Holt. Rutland rent fund notification form. So we have a police print house select and sign the attached form on all the stuff I pick up tomorrow night. I need to also add the attachments and I'll get a complete document to you at sign. I get Linda to sign on Monday. Thanks. And that's what Brett touched on. Oh, right the flash board. It's okay. This is kind yep. of fun. That's what that is. Permit. It requires one board signature. Alright, well, how many are there? Only one? Yep. So you've got a couple different ones here. Two copies. Oh, Alright, two copies, gotcha. Do you gentlemen have any objection? Sound like it sounds like a consensus. You can sign it. You're the one that's going to swing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> They're pretty, pretty good about following the wetlands. Yeah. Next thing we have uh, from Missy Karen regarding that's, that's, oh. her, that's her email. Mm -hmm. that's, uh, that's Debbie Rilla. Oh, that's right, Debbie. Yeah, mm -hmm. Recommendation to Deputy Tax Director. Does it say tax? Yeah. Oh, I meant uh, Welfare Director. Did I write that? Yes. I'm tired. I wrote it right over here. <laughs> welfare Director. Okay, is this the, from Val Guy? Yeah, I had forwarded her that information. Yeah, that survey for, uh, like, uh, was it? Um, it's kind of like a um, um, Salvation uh, Army uh, thing. Yeah. They offer food mm -hmm. to the, you know, needy, that type of thing, but they have a program in Concord. Granite United Way, that's what it is. And that's when mm -hmm. she um, responded yeah. then that she was looking at point. Mm -hmm. Someone to her as her deputy. She I'd like to let the select know that Linda Lindy will be my new deputy for the rest of this year. Thanks, Deborah. That's what's not your role. She's done for that. Looks like she's gone back to her. Oh, she didn't tell me that. I get. I Send the email. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I guess I should change that. Probably. <laughs> well then, I guess we need to make a motion to accept. Accept the recommendation to have the the new deputy welfare director is Linda Landry. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a second? No, second. All right. Any discussion, gentlemen? No. There's no, con no. Uh, there's no conflict of interest, boys. I don't think so. I mean, I'm just saying that through the IRSAs and laws, I know they have incompatible offices. And there's no handling. Of no. I guess you could check on it, but I don't think there is. I know there's some. You know, there are some incompatible offices. I don't remember which ones they are. You want to repeat your motion again? You made a motion to To, uh, to make Linda Landry the deputy. Welfare, Welfare director. Welfare director. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. That's you, All right. 
majority. Okay. So we made the motion. We made the motion. Tom seconded it. Okay. Sorry, I heard you say it. So Bob made the motion. Tom seconded. The board of selectmen and cemetery trustees. Oh, well, we have both at the same time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Very simple. Mm. Uh, after 12 years, I was property and the Summit Town Cemetery. I'd like to bring to the attention of selectmen and cemetery trustees that the town cemetery groundskeepers placed sticks and other unwanted materials at the back of the cemetery next to my property line. Every spring and fall, I am one of the of this area. I do not I do it about. But this time we were going around picking up the sticks before my last sleep picking. I noticed that there have been placed large logs and branches on our property. Yes, they're, I mean, they're like this. Where? You know, a big maple right at the end here? Mm -hmm. Right between that and the, the corner property line thing is they always stacking stuff up there. And I always pick it up, no problem. But when they start putting stuff that's this big, <laughs> and get a bigger. And I noticed also there's a big pile of brush right in the corner along yeah, the fence. I did that. You did that? That's happens. That's because the tree branch came down. And it, it cut I mean, that, that's, that's in the yeah. cemetery area, but yeah, I know. the other area, but I don't know where those big pieces of logs came from. Right. They, they look like broke, broken big old branches. Well, take a look at it. Yeah. They're too big yeah. for me to pick up. All right, yeah, we'll take yeah. a look. So, um, and I appreciate it. Thank you. We'll let our uh, maintenance yeah. contractor know that. Uh, well, actually, you know, know, this, the, the, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll take a copy of this. Yeah. It's yours. It is? Thanks. Yes. Yeah, I'll yeah. scan it in. Yes, uh, the fire corner is where all the leaves and branches and stuff are supposed to go. Yeah. Normally, I don't have a problem, but I mean, when they get bigger than me. No, that, that pile that, that you're referring to is one I put there. Yeah. Now but that's, that's in the well, cemetery the, border, so. But that's, that's left over from uh, a yeah. branch that came down. Yeah, I think that. And I've got to uh, just haul it over to the transfer station one day. Normally I don't mind, and that's within the rough bounds, but on the end, is it's the property line, yeah. the tree right in the middle. And it's, like look. I said, when it gets yeah. to the yeah. point where it's too big for me to pick up, I have to say yeah. something. <laughs> okay. well, no, I'll take this with me. Thank you. Yeah. Um, we'll dig into it and see what we can Thanks. find out for you. I like your cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I told Lean, I said, that's a stick compared to what's back really? there. Uh, yeah, that piece is quite big. I mean, they've they got to be this big. Where did it come from, though? Well, it's, I looked at it again today. It's real jagged, so I think it's one of the big old branches, probably from that big maple, that just mm -hmm. part of the tip of it, of a dead one, fell, and they just rolled it there. Well, that thing's like half of them, half of your property. It's half yeah. and half, yeah. That's why I've always been the one to clean yeah. up that area, but I can't lift those up. <laughs> well, the tree want, if you want the tree to come down now to come see us, maybe we can work something out. <laughs> I've been picking up stuff from that tree I'm for sure. 12 years. It's terrible. But it's it's a big tree. Trees, I know. You know, it's pretty they are in some trees. They're the bane of our existence, which you know is a cemetery yeah. past But it's, because of where it is, it really doesn't interfere with anything mm -hmm. other than a being a cleanup problem. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. as long as I own the place, I don't mind until they get too big. <laughs> gotcha. All right, next we have Primex uh, 2017 Workers' Compensation Program Renewal. All mm -hmm. uh, right, get a nice little bunch of fluff and stuff there. Workers' Compensation Program Contribution Summary for calendar year 2017. Uh, member, member contribution uh, last year was 17,208. This year it's going to be 18,929. But just for your information, we budgeted $4,510 last year, this current year, because we had a yeah. holiday credit Four, of yep. 12698 yep. So that's going to be an ouch increase. Yep. 14419 mm -hmm. just to cover the regular member contribution. Right. Understand? Yeah. Okay. Contribution percent change. Uh, $1,721 increase is actually a 10% increase in what this call. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I only had a holiday last year and we applied it to it. So this year we, we don't get that holiday, but yeah. no. PLT, Public Liability Trust, uh, 2017, same thing, right next? Well, we 
did get a multi-program discount. Yep. Um, last year, we decided to go on a calendar year when, rather than um, June to July, and so we only budgeted six months, which was 13560 This is technically about double that. Which one are you talking about? Workers' comp or property? Property liability. Oh, you've got a property yeah. Last year we had, um, yeah, again, when you first came on, you thought it was important that we start getting a lot of these contracts to get moved to a calendar year so that we're not yeah. carrying a budget or requesting Over. money yeah. for a year, the calendar year that we haven't, you know, had year approval year. on. So that's what we've been doing. So this year we're going to have an increase. That's about a fifteen thousand dollar increase on that budget line for two thousand seventeen. Our wash ratio adjustment factor is still point eight five percent, so it's not bad. Mm -hmm. It didn't change. That's right. Good. Uh, contribution change is nine hundred and twenty one dollars difference, so three point four percent increase. But again, going to a full year or a half year. Right. Feel it. Yep. Any thoughts, comments, questions? No. What choice do we have? Mm -hmm. Good point. All right. Outstanding annual leave. We have a memo from Lean. Chris W S. Uh, basically, to remind everybody that uh, use up to use it or lose it time before the thirty first of December. And the time that's on that memo does coincide with the personnel plan. I was hoping to try to give them a little, request their um, meeting with the board a little bit earlier, but maybe that's something we need to look at on the personnel plan. Sure. The personnel plan says that you need to put your request in by December 1st, mm -hmm. which is what I put on that memo. But, or, It would be nice if we could get them in earlier if they thought there was any issues, but hopefully between yeah. the memo today with their paychecks tomorrow, mm -hmm. it'll just give them the reminder that they've got six weeks to try to really look at those. Ideally, it would be nice, yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. We don't need everybody taking them just trying to yeah. take it all at once at the mm -hmm. end. Mm -hmm. and that's why I'm taking it. Thanks, Kenny. Services that you're talking about, Jeff. Yes. All right. Anything for us? No. Stay in the email box. That was it. I mean, we covered everything. Mr. Rowe? I don't have anything. No, I'm good. Mr. Martel? Uh, the Energy Committee met Monday night. Cool. We talked about uh, the, the garage, the highway garage. Uh, I guess those lamps there burn 420 watts per hour versus 80 watts with a LED bulb. So we are going to look into 420 or 480? 420. 420 watts. So what we're going to be looking at is to see what the cost would be to replace those fixtures with a fixture that gives you the same amount of light with a smaller wattage. Uh, at the yeah. What's that? Yeah. Uh, and, and the other thing is to look and see if we can 
uh, adapter sensor so when you're coming in the lights go on when you go out the lights go off and uh, because of that John did an assessment of the usage of electricity in the different mm -hmm. buildings mm -hmm. we found that the fire station which is I guess the police mm -hmm. station is connected but uh, your garage is a thousand something for a certain period of time his was four forty five hundred or forty six hundred really? police department Police fire. Yeah. I don't know what it is. It's, that's Are they on the same meter? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's police fire. So with that, they're going to do an assessment of yeah. the different buildings just to figure out. And I'll actually, when they do the one, you know, we're hoping it, it can be rolled into mm -hmm. maintenance for the garage, yeah. but to see what the payback is, mm -hmm. you know, for, your invest, for the investment. So. Absolutely. So that's where we're at with that right now. Okay. Actually, I ran into John today and I gave him a tour of it. Inside, he came, happened to come by and I was there. He was able to look around and we looked at all the different things and we took some pictures and we talked about it a lot. So, he was there today. <coughs> cool. Well, that would be good to get some production. Oh, yeah. When we did the light improvement here, our electricity light. It was cut in half. It was amazing. Yeah. It was really, uh, yeah. And it's a nice soft light, not arch mm -hmm. to the eye. Oh, mm -hmm. so, uh, yeah. well, these are fluorescent, so I, I don't know what kind of lighting yeah. they would be looking at, but anything would be a, an improvement over what. Yeah, they're looking at the LED, I guess, or mm -hmm. Hal yeah. halogen or something like that. Halogen. Uh, well, LED's no, not halogen. Ha no, ha ha I think I've got it written down, but. He, he, calls he was throwing some lights. terms around. Mm -hmm. yeah. I got LED out of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what he's looking at yeah. only because yeah. that would be a big reduction in the cost mm -hmm. and give you the same light. Life expectancy. And so, you know, yeah. knowing, knowing what it's going to be. <coughs> John wants to go a little further than, you know, he got to kind of keep a leash on him. <laughs> <laughs> He means no. well. He means well. Oh, right. no, no, we yeah. talked about that. The yeah. cost factor versus mm -hmm. yeah. the feel good factor. Right. You know. Yeah. How that all weighs into it. He means well, but he's very aggressive about trying to get things done. You know. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, yeah, because you got, you know, multiple different types of lights you're gonna return on investment, yeah. but I mean eventually once you get to a certain point of putting out so much money, you've got to have diminishing returns on that return on investment. You might as well go back to mid range or something. Right, well, that's, and that's why he's looking at that option and yep. when it pays for itself, that's what you're living with yep. anyways, and mm -hmm. you have that return. Yep. Well, hopefully they'll get some improvements out of it for you. Well, yeah, well, I mm -hmm. talked about all this stuff. Yeah. Uh, There's the one big drawer, it's probably the fan on the furnace. Yeah. Yeah, there's a hot air furnace that's, mm -hmm. um, well, the fire department used to have it. And they got a new one a long time ago. Well, maybe that's what's using up all the. Yeah, that's what I don't know. Places. Yeah. And then. Well, uh, is to grow a and then yeah. it ended up at the highway garage. And, uh, mm -hmm. Like a jet engine. And stuff, so, but, yeah. I, gotcha. Yeah, I mean, the overall efficiency of it's probably pretty low. Mm -hmm. um, but we don't use the heat all that much, really. Mm -hmm. You know, 90, gotcha. probably a good eight months out of the year it's not on. Once it is on, and uh, we'll keep it high. But once you open those on the doors to put the truck out, it all goes out. And, mm -hmm. you, know, you bring a cold piece of equipment back in, it takes a while to yes. cover it. Absolutely. So it runs quite a bit, the fan, and, I, and I have no idea what they could draw that is. We were talking about that. Mm -hmm. So he had plenty of stuff to work on, <laughs> So which is great. I mean, keep him busy. Yeah. So whenever there's renovation going on, it looks like you get. Whatever is taken out. <laughs> well, I think the one they had a wood stove before that. So. <laughs> hey, you probably, the, uh, it probably came from the live from the town hall. <laughs> it probably. I heard there was used to that's yeah, how they used to heat up there. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> so then they put the, the old furnace in there. I mean, I mean, all the dirty sheds use um, hot, uh, wood boilers now. Yeah, wood boilers, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, considerably. Actually, I'm going to go to biodiesel E100 for uh, heating instead of um, regular number two heating oil. I'm doing a pilot program with that. And 
believe it or not, E100 is actually cheaper than regular number two heating oil. But for how long? That's what they said in the pellets. <laughs> no. I mean, well, they make it in turn. I mean, White Mountain's biodiesel from North Haven makes it. I mean, you know, they're talking like 50 cents, less than gallons. Yeah. Right. So maybe some savings there that might be able to bleed down to us over the course of time. You know, won't happen right away, but you know, as it becomes more available, we might be able to take a tag on to that too. So who knows? Uh, speaking of the garage doors, how did you get any? Still waiting to hear back from a couple guys on the garage, price of the garage door when they get in Scotland. <laughs> Hopefully sooner than later. Yeah, well that's <laughs> kind of what I was telling them. Like it's something that's got to get done, you know, very soon to yeah. get a, you know, enough to get three quotes on it. Uh, this guy does contract and stuff, West Scott over the way here, mm -hmm. which is sometimes it's hard to get him. Him down anything, and then Tombs Door, you know, overhead door and mm -hmm. overhead door, that company. Yep. Three of those different options. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I know. <laughs> yeah, fridge into the choir, I'm sure you know. <laughs> yeah. So. Oh, well, good luck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I've got nothing for On the phone, phone, everybody's interested. Yes. What can you give me a yeah, this time next year, probably, right? Mm -hmm. Nice. Everybody's yeah, scrambling to try to do something. Yeah. <coughs> I've got nothing off of my head right now, so I'll open up public comment again. Donna? Come on, yeah. Thank you. Woody? Jeff? Do you have any public comment? I, I just, could we back up to one thing, this, the plow thing? When we were talking about, it sounded like dividing like a payroll rate out of that. Mm -hmm. I would think to build on the statement you made about the legality mm -hmm. and the contract and all that, I would think you wouldn't want to have any impression that you were had a, a payroll type employee because then you would be responsible. No, no, that's what you're saying there. Um, that, I mean, if you were to break it out, I, I, there was no the reason way it's in the to DOT, break it out. The way it's in the DOT, um, mm -hmm. uh, Charlie call it there. Uh, Wage scale. Rate, yeah, we, um, yeah, whatever the book that they call yeah. it. Um, truck rates, it's truck, yeah, called. rental rate uh, agreements or something like that. Uh, it's they specifically mention a, uh, a individual rate, of like an employee rate uh, for IRS requirements. That's the question. What the hell are they talking about? Because if there are some IRS requirements that we're yeah. supposed to be following, and we don't know about it, um, I know in the past past mm -hmm. with anything to do. With